You know, I'm 53, and there's no history of breast cancer in my family. My life is all about taking care of other people. I don't have time to think, let alone go for a mammogram. Why should I think about having one? Mammography screening looks for breast cancer in women who show no signs of the disease, and the whole idea of screening is to find the breast cancer earlier, when the tumors are smaller and they haven't had a chance to spread beyond the breast. Looking after our health is important, not just to us, but to everybody that we care about. Well, yeah, but I've heard lots of stories about women finding breast cancer themselves. So is a mammogram really more effective than that? I would say the vast majority of my patients with breast cancer have been found through mammograms. Mammograms can pick up very small changes in the breast and very early signs of breast cancer before you can feel them. But it is very, very important for you to be aware of your breasts, to know how they look and feel normally and how they change over time. And if you do notice a breast change, definitely come and talk to me about it rather than hoping that it will disappear. Well, okay, but I'm really confused. When am I supposed to begin screening and how often do I go? Women 50 and over can have a free mammogram with the Ontario Breast Screening Program every two years. If you don't have a clinic near you, you can look for a screening site that's accredited by the Canadian Association of Radiologists. There are women who are at higher risk for breast cancer and they need to be screened every year and that would include women with a family history of breast cancer. Ontario Breast Screening Program? Do I need a doctor's referral for a mammogram every two years? You don't need anything from me. Women 50 and over can refer themselves to the Ontario Breast Screening Program, and you can call them yourself to set up an appointment, or if you prefer, I can do it for you. And once you've enrolled with them, you'll receive an automatic reminder for your next screening appointment. I've heard it's painful that your breasts get squished hard between two metal plates. Yes, you do feel a few seconds of pressure uh, on your breast while the two pictures are being taken, and it is somewhat uncomfortable, but it doesn't harm your breast, and it certainly doesn't cause breast cancer to spread. You shouldn't really feel pain with it. Mammograms use x-rays, right? And radiation causes cancer. Can regular mammograms lead to breast cancer? Exposure to high levels of radiation certainly can cause cancer, but the modern mammography equipment uses very low doses of radiation. The benefits of early detection of breast cancer would far outweigh any risk of low-dose radiation exposure from mammograms. I'm not going to expose my body to just anyone. I get embarrassed. I can understand why you feel that way. Um, but the female staff and technologists that work at the Ontario Breast Screening Program are very professional. They're highly trained. They're very caring. And they will do everything they can to put you at ease. And the only time that your breast uh, is exposed is when you're having the mammogram. And this will take place in a private room just with you and the technologist. To be honest, my biggest fear is that the results will come back with a cancer diagnosis. I understand that, and I think that that's uh, a feeling that a lot of women share. But when you think about it, most of the test results that come back are negative, and that means that there's no sign of cancer. About 1 in 10 women are called back for more testing, and most women who require further testing will not have breast cancer. And if breast cancer is diagnosed with earlier detection in most cases, there are more treatment options and better chances of survival. There's no medical test that's perfect but the sense of reassurance you get from a normal test result feels really great. It gives you a sense that you've done everything you can to look after your own breast health, something that people who love and care about you would want for you.